going to show you guys how to use the quadratic formula using the calculator here. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to graph the equation that they give you, negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. We're going to put that in y equals and we're going to graph it. And then the first thing I want you to do is look at letter A. What are the roots, the zeros, the x-intercepts, the solutions? Those are all the same. Where, where do they cross or where does the parabola cross the x-axis? Looks like it crosses at negative 1 and then 1, 2, positive 3. Okay? Using the equation, so we're going to use this equation here, and the equation is already in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c. We want to make sure everything's on the same side of the equal sign. Let's fill out the values of a, b, and c. So what number do you see is in the a position? If you look, there's a negative 1, so a is negative 1. What number do you see in the b position? Positive 2. And then what number do you see in the c position? Positive 3. All right. Look at letter C right here. Use your calculator and store these values. So we're going to go over here. We're going to take negative 1. We're going to store it to A. Take 2. Store it to B. Take 3. And store it to C. Now let's look at this crazy looking equation here. That is read as negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all of that divided by 2a. They're two separate equations. So if you look down here at the bottom, and I'll minimize the calculator, move this up a little bit here. But if you look at the bottom, it's actually two equations. It's a plus equation. You can see right here, see the little plus sign? And it's a minus equation. They just wrote it as just one equation so they don't have to keep duplicating those two different equations. But when you use the calculator, you have to type them in the calculator separately. So we're going to start with this guy here, the plus equation. So to do this, you need to access your fraction component. Make sure you're typing it in as a fraction. Negative b plus the square root. The square root's right here. So you have to access your second button because it's in, it's in blue there. Plus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac and then all of that divided by 2a. And then you're going to hit enter. And you're going to get a value of negative 1. Now instead of typing this second equation in this minus equation, what you can do is you can scroll up, highlight the original one you typed in, and hit enter. What that's going to do, it's going to copy that equation down. And then you can just simply go over here and change that plus right here to a minus. And then you can go ahead and hit enter. It'll calculate it for you so you don't have to retype that. And you'll see that you get two answers, negative 1 and 3. And then if you look at letter G, letter G is asking, what do you notice about the two answers we got from the quadratic equation? Well, if you go back up to letter A, remember what we said letter A was? Letter A was where the graph crossed the x-axis, and it crossed the x-axis at negative 1 and 3. So that's what the quadratic equation does. It'll calculate the roots, the zeros, the x-intercepts, the solutions. It's just an alternative way of calculating where does this parabola cross the x-axis.